What's poppin' everyone? We are back on Pokemon Showdown for a nice OU live today using a team that I made built around a Zoroark. Very, very fun mon. Uh, with the illusion ability, of course. So, um, another suggestion from you guys from my slacking video, so I just had to use it, you know. I think I did a, I, I think I did a, like, a very obscure Zoroark live really, really long time ago, like, a gen or two ago. Probably two, two gens ago, I think. So, um, they definitely, uh, wanted to use it for the current, the current gen right now, the current meta. This is probably, like, one of the better teams that I've actually made uh, this year, so definitely I'm excited to showcase this Pokemon. We have Life Orb, three attacks with uh, the Illusion, which can disguise itself as another member of the team, depending on how we set our um, initial, uh, I guess set our party, because it'll dis it'll take the form of the last Pokemon that we have. Since this team preview, we get to mix and match around and stuff, so it should be a lot of fun. Um, of course, these three attacks can hit things pretty hard, like Sludge Bump for Fairy types that Dark Pulse is resisted by. Flamethrower for stuff like Scizor and Ferrothor and things like that. So pretty fun Mon. Has a pretty nice speed tier as well. Base 105. So it is faster than, you know, base 100 obviously. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, and like Garchomp and things like that. Next we got here a Lando T just for some rocks. It's a sort of a, it's not really a Pokemon that I usually lead with even though it's a Sash lead. It's still pretty good at checking things and getting up rocks um, towards the sort of the early game, I guess. Fast Mon as well. Uh, then we have here a Magirna, which is um, my main sweeper for the team. Puts in a lot of work for sure. A uh, Mega Latios, which is there for um, just being able to deal with a lot of the meta with Psychic, Earthquake, Ice Beam, respectively. Just a solid mount overall. Conkeldur, an AV Conkeldur is a great fighting type for this team. Can take special hits really well. Checks, uh, you know, Ash Greninja and things like that. We have like some good pivots and switches into like Dark Pulse with Conkeldur, Hydro Pump and things with, with uh, Rotom and maybe Laddy. And that's, it's a cool team. With Disguise, it can really sort of throw the opponent off. Not Disguise, uh, Illusion. It can um, take opponents by surprise. So hopefully, we can see it put in work in this video. Of course, the objective is to ensure that Zoroark puts in uh, some work. So let's just begin right now. As you can see, we have a team with, uh, with you know, Finny, Coco, stuff like that. He's got the, uh, he's got the drill. I think versus this kind of team, right? I, I'm, I kind of just want to lead with uh, with Lando. Actually, no, maybe not Lando. Maybe I want to lead with... Um, actually, Conkelder is not a bad lead just because of how... It puts in a lot of work versus his team, especially if he does lead uh, Kiram. We put Zoroark second, of course, always. And then um, I think in the back, what we can put is probably Magirna. I'm going to put Magirna in the back. Leading off Conkelder here, as what I can do is just go for a Poison Jab. I think Poison Jab is fine. If he has Dazzling Gleam, we'll, we should be able to live it. We're AV. And and uh, the Jab will, of course, uh, I think, do a lot of damage. He doesn't decide to switch out here, so that's fine. Not a problem. I think his best switch is probably um, Zapdos, which he does bring in. Go ahead and jab this thing. Uh, we get static which is actually not too bad. It poison him, too. So we activate our Guts, and we poison him. That's actually not that bad at all. Um... Here, I could Drain Punch or I could Ice Punch. Um, I'm going to Ice Punch here as he does Roost. Maybe Drain Punch is the better play there. Um, I think I'll go for a Drain Punch now in case he Roosts again. Uh, Volt Switch out. Okay. Into who? Maybe Finny. So, I mean, we have Guts. Oh, it goes to Drill. Ooh, actually, this is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why he would go into that, into Excadrill on a Conkeldur. Like that doesn't make sense. Uh, in comes the Kiram. This could be Z Kiram. So I do want to play a little bit around this thing. I want to save Conkeldur. This thing is great. I'm going to scout for the Z move by going into Rotom. And uh, yep, there it is. Sub Zero Slammer eating that up pretty well. I can go here into my Conkeldur now. As I think that was his only physical attack. Oh, I guess Fusion Bolts there too. That did way too much damage. I forgot about Electric Terrain. Um, but yeah, I, I think we can probably just... Um, just Mach Punch here. I go Zapdos. Okay, okay. Fine with me. If he Roosts, we're going to get up all that health. We're going to eat up all of his health. If he Roosts. Vol Switches. Okay, we, we don't survive that. But I think... I think Conkeldur put in some good initial work. Magirna can actually just sweep his team, I'm pretty sure. And, um, okay, so he goes Coco. I'm going to go here into uh, Landris. I think just Earthquake here. 
Or, or actually, his Zapdos is at 32. I'm going to get up rocks. HP Ice is fine. I could have Earthquaked, but didn't think it was that worth it. Um, okay. I don't really need Rotom for this matchup. I'll save Landers because I could actually boom on something, perhaps. And, um, he sacks the Zapdos, so that's cool. As we bring in Rotom. So the Poison did take him out, which is really clean. Goes into Mawile. I could Wisp this thing. I don't know why he went into that. I just Willow his Peer. Easily. Thunder Punch knocks... Does not knock us out. Gets us to our berry range. And then we get up... Uh, back up a little bit. So that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Why did that... Uh, that Thunder Punch only did 47 in terrain. That's crazy. Rotom was bulky. Bulky as anything. I'll Volt Switch here into... Um, I, I guess I could go Landris. I guess I could go Landris here. Alright, watch me outplay. Watch me outplay right now. See, he thinks this is uh, Magirna, right? He thinks this is Magirna. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Zora got a kill here. That's awesome. Goes to Kirim. Kirim Black. So I don't want him to be some like a random subset or something. So I am just going to uh, Dark Pulse. Get some damage. Clean damage. Flinch it. Ooh. Okay. I see that. A Sludge Bomb here on the Finny. Nice. <laughs> Should be a 2 KO too because we are Life Orb. Excellent. So Zoroark putting in the work as a disguise of a Megirna. That's what I want to see. Very nice. Any forfeits. Great way to start this game off with uh, Zoroark Endgame. Let's grab another one right now. And uh, you, you already know, they call him the Master of Illusion. Wasn't that what the movie was called? Like Zoroark something, Master of Illusion or something? I forgot what the movie was called, but I remember it. It was with the uh, shiny Entei Suikun Raikou promo. Those those were the days. Those were the days back in, back in black and white. So cool. Alright, so we have... Um, we have Zoroark putting in work here. Let's see if we can get another game that Zoroark will also do similarly. And we got one. Nice. All right. So let's begin. This guy has... Uh, I've seen this team around on the ladder before. I've seen this team before. I think what we're going to do is this MV. Maybe. It might be. It possibly could be. We're going to We're gonna, of course, lead Zoroark. I think we should. You too. Thanks. You too. All right. So this uh, this Yuxi we got to deal with a little bit. I'm gonna lead Zoroark, right? I want to make him taunt me somehow. I want to make him taunt me somehow. Actually, no. If I if I put Landers in the back, then he won't see Intimidate. Let's try this. Let's try this out. Put McGearn in the back, right? Get some rocks. All good. He's going to boom. Probably going to boom here. Is he boom? Boom. Okay. Still does a decent amount of damage. So not too bad. Not too bad. I'm going to go uh, I'm gonna go Landers here. It's just 1,000 arrows me. Perfectly fine. And... Uh, I think I think I can um I think I can rocks here. I think I can rocks. I I I think I can forward too. He wouldn't try to set up on a landers, would he? Just gotta make sure I don't lose to um Superior. I think it's actually kind of a threat. If I can get set up with Magirna, I should be fine though. Goes for the protect, okay. I see you. Could I SD here, potentially? Yeah, I can. I'm pretty sure I can knock this out with an Earthquake. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, fantastic. So, that is awesome. Uh, he's going to go with Selgor. Is this a uh, Spike Setter or something? It might be. Final Gambit. Alright, we, we sacrifice ourselves here. But I think Lottie comes in now. If I'm not mistaken. 
I'm gonna bring in Laddie. If he, I think he'll bring in probably Zygarde. I'm thinking, yeah, Zygarde. Gonna Ice Beam this. As he goes Magirna. I can Quake now, I think. Hit him with a young Quake. Shift gears up, it'll probably attack me now, of course. So, uh, Mach Punch actually, yeah, Mach Punch takes him out. Mach Punch takes him out here. Uh, question is what I want to sack. I think Rotom is kind of useless now because it loses to Zygarde and Superior, invites them both to sweep, uh, to sweep me. So I'm just going to go into this thing and um, go right for the Wisp, I think. Let him attack me. Nice, nice, perfect. He's gonna, yep, that's perfect. Okay, this is actually really good. So, um, at this point now, I think my play is to go into Conkeldur because I don't get Lottie glared, which is kind of big. Um, and Ice Punch should take out Zygarde, if I'm not mistaken. I think it does, because he's the Protect set, so I don't think he'd be coiled. I don't think he'd be coiled, so I think we go Conkeldur here. As he goes superior, okay. Um, poison jab is stronger, so I'm gonna go for that. And he's just gonna boost me with guts. And I get parried, of course. That's what Serb does, you already know. Um, just gotta hit through everything. I think at this point, Ice Punch knocks him out, so it's probably my better play to click Ice Punch. Um, just gotta make sure he does not break through. Uh, Mach Punch takes him out here. Yeah, nice. Excellent. Goes into Zygarde. All I gotta do is Ice Punch this. I mean, and he's leftovers too, so that's really, that's that's pretty good, I think. Um, yeah, we're gonna break through every one of them. You already know. Yeah, GG. Solid game, solid game. All right, let's grab another one right now. And uh, once again, we saw, I think, a little bit of Zoroark in this game. All right, so this game actually is pretty interesting. We have uh, we have a uh, Mamoswine team. So it's Gators here. By the way, it's Gators' birthday. Yesterday or today, I forgot. But happy birthday, Gator. Anyways, um, I think I think we're gonna lead. Uh, we're we're gonna lead. We're gonna lead with with uh, Lottie. I like Lottie. Lottie Lee's not bad. I'm um, gonna put Magir now. Actually, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Rotom in the back this time. I'm gonna put Rotom in the back. He leads Zapdos. Perfect. Mega Ice Beam. You already know. You know the drill. We come through out here. Good, clean damage. Clean damage. Very nice. Gonna go into Greninja. I'm gonna predict the Dark Pulse and go into Conkeldur to eat this up as he goes for the Hydro. Hard reads, man. Hard reads. I'm going to Ice Punch here. Goodbye to Zapdos. He does have Rocket Helmet, so that does put me in the range of Hydro, unfortunately. Um, as he goes back to Greninja, so I'm... I could I, I could just Mach Punch you, can I? I could just Mach Punch you. Get some clean damage off. Hydro's again. But he's locked in. He's definitely locked in. So I, I could just go into Rotom. Go right for the Volt Switch here. I mean, is he going to go into one of his ground types? <laughs> that's, what I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to find out. Yeah, no way. All right, so Tapu Lele is in. Tapu Lele is in. I'm guessing we can just go... Um, probably... Probably... Magirna? I think, yeah, let's go Magirna. Let's go Magirna here. I think he'll go into um, Venusaur. So I'm going to switch out here into Lottie. But he goes Lando, so... Could be Scarfed, could not be. I'm not sure. But I'm going to Ice Beam anyway. Oof, got him. Crit did not matter. You already know. We're out here. Back in, back into Greninja he goes. So now at this point, I think I'm going to go Rotom. He might just Dark Pulse though. Hydros again. Why is that doing so much damage? Good Lord. Rotom, my guy. I, I don't know if I can lose Rotom because I need that versus Mamoswine. But I got I to gotta sack something, don't I? Man, this is tough. Lottie... Probably gets two KO'd actually too. <laughs> it, probably, it probably does. 
Good lord. All right. So I need Magirna, I think, for the Lele. I need Ladi. Lando, maybe, maybe not. Zoroark, maybe, maybe not. Rotom for the Mamoswine, I think so, because that might be good. But then he might miss his Hydro. Actually, I could I could outplay I could outplay Mamoswine without Rotom. I could outplay. Alright, check me out, right? We go Lottie. We hit him with the cleanest, the cleanest psychic. Into the Lele. Doing some good damage. Earthquake? I don't know if it knocks him out, actually. I don't think it does. I'm gonna go back to Magirna. It was Mamoswine. Yo, peep, this, peep these uh, sequence of play here, right? I'm gonna go Landers first. See, this is a rocks. All good. I'm gonna hit him with the Earthquake. I hope he's not Life Orb, actually. Okay, not Life Orb. This is actually fine. This is not bad. So he's only Ice Shard, probably Endeavor and whatnot. So we can knock him out with a uh, Dark Pulse. A nice Dark Pulse here. <laughs> I like I like how I have seven Pokemon on my team now. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven Pokemon. Never seen this before. <laughs> I got, got nice seven Pokemon. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> Why doesn't why doesn't it transform into the Mega? Shadow needs to fix your team too. Yeah. True. Like Illusion should be able to like copy into like the actual Pokemon, not just the regular version of it. I'm a nasty plot up. He leech seeds, all good. I, I don't think he has protect. This should knock him out as well. Yo, if I get rid of this thing, then uh, that kind of opens the way for Magirna to put in work, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure. Shift Gear Magirna actually cleans his team. Greninja comes in. Hydros. Okay, cool. I can go Lottie. Hit him with the hit him with the beam. Hydro miss. I mean, you, you already hit your like one, two. Three, probably like the last five, four. That's all good. In comes Lele. Okay, this is this is perfect. This is perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm gonna roost. He predicted. Yeah, he predicted the Magirna. I knew it. I knew it. I see you. He can't knock me up with the Ice Shard, so it's all good. I, I think I could just win with the uh, Magirna in the end. End game. Yeah, I had to explain it to him. I didn't get Leech Seed? Wait. <laughs> I think he's confused. I sent out Lottie. That was not the real Lottie. <laughs> I really just bamboozled this guy. But why is Leech still show? I don't see Leech. I don't know. No idea. No idea. I don't see Leech seed at all. Dang, Zorak really out here playing mind games. Like, legit playing mind games. That was crazy. Alright, on to the next game. On to the next game. This is some kind of like... This is some kind of... Some kind of extraterrestrial <laughs> type, of, uh, type of situation here. I like it. Alright, here's, here's what we got next. We got uh, Mega Glalie. I feel like Joey must, might have used this team in a live or something. Maybe, I, maybe I'm tripping, but I, I'm pretty sure Joey used this team. Anyways, let's begin with uh, leading off. Leading off with... Uh, Zorark is not a bad lead, but like I feel like he's just going to lead something faster. Um, Conkelder is a pretty fine lead, actually pretty fine versus his entire team, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna lead Conkelder actually, and let's just put um, our threat Magirna in the back and start a timer as well. Let's try that out. 
like Zoroark is really fun to use just because of all the mind games you can have, especially with what's in the end of the party or whatever. He leads Lando, so um, I guess I could go Rotom. Defog these things away. He goes Pharaoh. Pretty sure I could just bop this thing with a Wisp. His team doesn't really appreciate Rotom. Nice. <laughs> All right. I mean, do that again. Let me go into Conkeller. Give me the Guts boost, please. Do that again, my guy. Do it again. Spikes. Okay. Ice Punch. The Lando is the play. I mean, this is only switching. He stays in. I mean, I'll stay in an Ice Punch again. You already know he's switching out. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> ah, nice. Back to Rotom we go. Defog this, these uh, hazards away, of course. Earthquakes. Um, yeah, just get off a of defog here. I might be faster, actually. Yeah, I am faster. Nice. So we got rid of these rocks. Oh, sorry, those spikes. We got rid of the spikes. Goes back into Ferrothorn here. Uh, I'm just going to... Um, Like, what does he have? T-Wave Spikes? Maybe he doesn't have Power Wipe, I, I guess. Can I just, like, stay in and Hydro? Now he's Leech, of course. Of course. Yeah, I, I should have known. I'm a, I'm a Volt I'm a volt out now. Into, um... Oh, you want to see a play? Check this play out. Volt into Zoro. Uh, into uh, Magirna. Flamethrower him right now. And get him out. Nice, nice, excellent. So now he knows I'm a Zoroark. Excellent. In comes Drill. This is probably, I think, Scarf Drill is what I'm thinking. So, you want to see a fantastic play, actually? Watch, he's gonna, he's gonna, okay. I thought he was gonna go for Toxic or something. I'm pretty sure that Joey said had Toxic. Um, Landers comes in, I'm gonna go into Rotom. Into the Rotom. He quakes. I'm just gonna hydro now. He probably thinks I don't have hydro at this point. Actually, no, I used it. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> All right, never mind. Never mind. All right, here we go. Here we go. Right? We're gonna hit him up. Nice. We're gonna defog. Like at this point, you know, man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. This thing would have been gone. I w there would be no rocks on my side, but this thing is still there. I mean, it's just, it's fine. Glalie coming in. I don't remember what this thing does. I don't remember if I have a switch in. Could be freeze dry actually, but you know, just gotta be careful, I guess. A little bit careful. I'm just gonna stand and find out what it does. Freeze dry, yeah, it does have freeze dry. It knocked me out, that's strong. Hello? I guess Conkelder walls it. I can just ice punch. Yeah, I can knock this out. Okay, no rocks. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. See, we, we gotta make these plays. We gotta make the plays that win us the game. Uh, Keldeo comes in. I'm gonna go into Lottie. Get myself the Mega Evolution that I've always wanted. And um, hit him with the Quake. Predicting Drill or... Yeah, Drill. So this Quake should do a decent chunk of damage. Good damage. Yeah, very good. Um, and here, I think we can just go into... Um, not Conkelder. I think I can afford to go Landris. I'm pretty sure I can afford to go into this thing. Um, I don't see what he can do. Versus us. Earth, yeah, uh, of course. Yep. Uh, and now we just uh, Quake something. I don't think we even need rocks. We just Quake. Quake uh, anything that comes in. Keldeo, okay. This is going to get Quaked. Nice and Quaked. I could probably even just stay in and knock it out too if I want. Watch him make a double here into uh, Glalie or something. Oh, Z-move. Hydro Vortex. I got my Sash intact. Good B. Nice. All right. So we're, we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. This is a good match for us. A matchup for us, I think. Making those Zoroark, those big Zoroark plays. Um, okay, so Zero Aura. Zero Aura. 
Hidden Power Ice, okay. Life Orb, probably the standard Plasma Fist everything set. Um, I think, I don't know if it's safe to go Magirna just yet. But, eh, you never know. I could just go into Magirna. I could also go uh, Conkeldur right now. Which I think is also pretty fine as a play. And just Drain Punch. Um, he shouldn't knock me out in one hit, and I should I should be able to knock him out. Look at the Guts boost. 624 attack. No boosts or anything other than from Guts. So Drain Punch should definitely knock this thing out. Plasma Fist should not knock us out either. And, uh, yep, there it is. Gone. Nice. Back to a good amount of health, and, um, yeah, all is good, all is good. Glalie comes out here. I don't, I don't know if this uh, will take us out, though. That's a problem. I don't know if it'll take us out. And the thing is, right, I don't want Scarf Drill, or I don't want this Drill to be picking off our Mons one by one at the end. So I think the play for me, right, is to, um, is to sack something that's not Conkeldur. I think we saved Conkeldur. Um, I don't think I need Lottie anymore, so I'm going to sack that, right? I am then going to proceed to going into Zoroark, which is disguised as Magirna, forcing him to go for the Earthquake on this thing and hit him up with a Flamethrower and knock him out in one. Nice. <laughs> nice, nice. In comes Drill. He should be able to take us out here, I think. I think with the um, Earthquake. <laughs> I finally get it. Yep, yep. <laughs> um, and Conkeldur basically just has to not get para twice and we can win the game with a mock Punch. Yep, there it is. Good game, good game. Very solid game. Alright, let's grab another one. So, Zoroark proving that it can, it can be very elusive in the illusion form. I think Zoroark and Magirna are really great partners. Just because of how um, Magirna can take... Or Magirna's, like, of course, you wouldn't go for a fairy move on Magirna. Zoroark's biggest weakness is from uh, fairy type attacks, I think. So, um, disguising it as Magirna is something that's really cool, which, um, you know, it, it just forces peop uh, people to play differently, I guess. So, it's awesome. And, uh, and yeah, so let's hopefully get another one real quick. All right, and we got a Lapras team. So, this guy's rocking some, this guy's rocking some heat, though. This guy has some heat. Lapras, Klefki, not bad, not bad. All right, so this is probably Zard X, I would say. I don't know if he'd want to weaken his water moves. Just, uh, I, I mean, he, he's got triple water. All I can say is, you know, what are you doing? What are, what are you doing? Um, anyways, okay, let's, let's just go ahead and lead, right? Lead with Konk, Zoroark, Magirna in the back. Kong versus Klefki. Okay, this is actually a not a bad matchup. If we do get parried, we get guts boosted. So uh, he's actually screens. So interesting. I'm gonna try to defog these away. I think I, I wish he's not like I, ho I hope he's not combined Finny and stuff like that. He goes Landers. Okay, that's not too bad. I'll go for Will O Wisp. Get this clean wisp off as he goes back into Klefki. And I can actually just defog these screens away right now. If he goes for a light screen, he'll have priority like that for instance. Defog clears everything away, which is really nice. Um, I can just fire off a Hydro here, I think. Goes for another screen. Just defog now. Then we're pretty good to go. Definitely good to go, I think. All right, so Zard is in. Is this Zard X or Y? That's the question. That is the question. Um, I have a Sash Lando, so we can use that as a safety measure. Um, Conkeldur, I think, is a Pokemon that I could switch in right now. Or I could go Lottie here. Lottie is another option because Lottie, I don't think, puts in much work versus his team. He's got too much for it. So we're going to go Lottie. He is Zard X. Just Dragon Claws, knocks us out. Um, good to know what it is though, uh, for sure. Here what I can do is go into um, into my Landers here. And get Rocks up. He goes into his own. I think I can just... Uh, 
SD up here. As he goes for SD of his, of his own, okay. He could be sashed. No, he's not. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're good, we're good. And I'm pretty sure we're naturally faster anyways, but just because we won two... It, it, it could have been potential speed ties, but we won both of them, so it's not a speed tie. Uh, <laughs> anyways, moving on to... Um, yeah, let's go into Zoroark here. And Flamethrower. Actually... Yeah, Flamethrower. Knock him out. Probably could have also Nasty Plotted too. But there's no Reflect, which is much better for us. He goes into Lapras. Um, what is this thing going to do? I'm going to Plot. Sub, okay, okay. I want to break this thing, Sub. Is he, could he actually be Dragon Dance Lapras? No, he's just the Whirlpool set. Never mind. We're good. He can't Parish Song me yet. I'm so glad Zoroark got Sludge Bomb. Uh, I think this gen, right? Citrus Berry. What a lord. Nice Whirlpool Trap. I actually use this thing too in OU. Really fun Mon. Really clean Mon. Uh, protect. Okay, cool. Perishing that much. I mean, his greens are like stalling down too, so I'm, I don't mind that. Dark Pulse. Whirlpools again. Okay, right, cool. And um, I believe now we can go into Conkelder. Hit him with the cleanest, the cleanest, and the meanest Drain Punch. As he goes Tapu Fini. I can Poison Jab here. He doesn't know I have it, so it's all good. Defog. Oh, he got rid of my rocks. Uh, clever. But not clever enough. Moonblast does a decent chunk of damage. And, uh... We just gotta be careful of the Zard. Yeah, there's the Zard. That's the threat right there. That is the threat right there. Flare Bliss knocks us out here. I think we just got a Hydro. And Prey. Hydro doing clean damage though. I don't think he has Roost either. I think he's DD uh, 3 attacks. Yeah. So as long as we hit this Hydro, we're good. Nice. And we're back at good health too. Which is really nice. I think the Zards nowadays usually run like DD plus uh, 3 attacks, maybe. Gunk Shot. Okay, so he's just Protean. Okay, we're. I think we're okay. I think we're fine. Shift Gear is the play. Yeah, yeah, we, and we win this game. I think he was Scarfed, so that's going to be GG. Nice. I was really getting worried about that Zard too. I thought it was going to just roost in my face. Try to make me miss Hydro, but thankfully, thankfully Rotom came through. Nice, not bad. On the climb. Up against some stall. What is this thing? What is this team? It's like some kind of... This, this is definitely stall. Just fat Arcanine, fat Aloma Mola, Wish, Wish Protect. I guess maybe Balance. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of fat, but you know, we'll, we'll see what we can do versus this team. I'm going to just lead with... Uh, I'm going to just lead Lottie. Put Zoroark there, Magirna in the back as usual. And he leads with Arcanine. Okay, so I, I think I could just get off a Psychic here, in all honesty. Get off a clean Psychic. Do a chunk and a half, maybe, to some Pokemon. Goes Bulu. Okay, this should do a decent chunk. I mean, he's probably going to be AV, but we'll see. Yeah, decent, I guess. <laughs> kind of decent. Maybe I can Ice Beam. Do some work versus this thing. Yeah, Magirna is in. Hit him up with the Rotom. Ice Beam Freeze. Nice. Go Landris here, I think. Uh, I think getting up my rocks is going to be clean too. 
Well, I don't know what his defogger is. Probably Gliscor. Maybe Gliscor. So let's get some rocks up. Goes Bulu. Okay, cool. Let's get let's get these rocks up. Let's get these rocks up right now. Yes, he's up in my face. Let's just boom on this thing real quick. He might make a fire play and go Sableye. He might just make a fire play here. I hope he doesn't have protect. <laughs> nice. <laughs> too good, too good. But guess what? I'm even better. Check this out. Magirna. Check me out right now. He is 100% switching out. Probably into his own Magirna. <laughs> Hit him with a plus two flamethrower right here. Check this out. Nasty plot Magirna. Let me just let him know. Hold on. He gets that this gen. <laughs> nice. Yo, that was so clean though. That was so clean. Like he, he may have he may have made the play in the Sableye, but I made the real play out here and he quit. GG. Ah. Nothing more satisfying than seeing a team like that get destroyed by Zoroark too. If Zoroark would have 6-0 that team, we were already plus two. Nasty plotted up, you know? That was that was hype. Super hype. Um, let's grab another game right now. Team is putting in work. Like this is what I'm saying. Like this is actually one of one of the better teams that I've made, I think in um in this year 2018 another stall team this is looking more stall than the other one though nice i'm um, just gonna lead off here with my trusty trusty laddie lead yep and then go into conkelder on the uh will-o-wisp i no, actually i don't know what he's gonna go for maybe knock off or something but I don't really need my AV, I guess. I think it should be fine. Conkelder is actually pretty good versus this team because it can actually hit everything except Sableye. But yeah, I definitely need Sableye gone. Um, Zoroark puts in some mad work if you get rid of Blissey. Like this is a stall team. We gotta beat. We gotta beat it somehow. We gotta beat it. Start timer. Nothing more satisfying than seeing stall get beat. Uh, get beaten. Let's do it. You know what I, you know what I wish for my Landorus is if I went for Explosion, Focus Sash still lets me hang on somehow, <laughs> somehow in the Explosion. Um, yeah, I think here I'm going to um, probably just get a Poison off on this thing is the play. Where's my Poison? I wanted to let me poison. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Doing a little bit more damage now. Oh, he's got... He's a Metal Burst. Ooh, Metal Burst. Okay. Yo, check me out now, right? We go Magir and we Nasty Plot up here. And then we Dark Pulse on the Arcanine to knock it out in one hit. Alright, he thinks Unaware Clef stops me. He thinks Unaware Clef stops me. Almost. Ooh, Poison. Does it knock it out? Yeah, I knocked it out. Nice. <laughs> so clean. That was too clean. Good beat to Clefable. All right, Blissey comes out next. You know we gotta. You know we gotta give it the business. You know we. We know what we have to do. Um, I'm plus two though right now. So like, I don't think I stay in though. I don't think it does much damage. I, I would want to save this thing. I would want to go into um. Laddie. 
I think Mega and Roost here perhaps could work. Actually, no, I think going into a Conkeldur is the play. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, and then here, I think I can just, um, well, Sableye's at full. I think go back to Zoroark and plot up. He knows this is Magirna. Uh, he knows this is Zoroark now because I've taken damage. Oh, I guess he just stays in then. Knocks off my life orb. Nasty plot up again. Now I don't take life orb damage, which is not too bad, I guess. All I gotta do is flinch the Blissey and we put in work in the end with everything else. Like the Magirna, for instance. Alright, let's pulse it up. We are at 1017 attack. This is 41%, and we flinched it too. This is actually really good. Yep. I think that's good. I think it's game. I think it's game. I think that is game. Zoroark just swept this man's team. Actually, no. How, how did that do? Oh, we flinched it. Nice. <laughs> nice. I thought it would do like 60 after that. Maybe. Is it 52? I thought it would do like 60 or close to 60. Nice. Dark Pulse of this. That's gonna be GG. It is Envy with the this six owing stall. Six owing. Six owing stall. Nothing better than you see a six o and it's a stall team. Ha! Ah, nice. All right, clean, clean game. I, I think we should end. I think we're, we should end it up there. That was a great game. Great game overall. This team is fantastic. I think it's been putting a lot of work for me. So um, yeah, feel free to try it out, of course. And I hope you all enjoyed uh, the the uh, Zorark showcase. Definitely, I think Zoroark is a great mod that can, uh, that can, that can take opponents by surprise. You know, it can, uh, it can play a lot of mind games, as you guys saw in the battles of this, of this live. So, thank you everybody for watching. I will see you all on the next video. Peace.